Hi, Matt here from Crooks Cabin Makers. Today I'm going to introduce you to uh, the video of me making the router tables. Hopefully you can learn something from it, maybe even copy the design and use it for your own workshop. Okay, so enjoy. So this is the finished article router table. So without further ado, let's crack on. <laughs> We have marked three points on here one two and three is at the other end I've got my rips sorted out. The first one is 345, that's my tops. My sides at 290, and one rip at 70 mil, and another rip at 50 mil. So I've marked my halfway point on the board, and then I've marked a square rectangle around it. That means when I cut straight through the middle, I've got my right angle marked here, and my right angle marked here. <laughs> right, so after cutting, you should have one top, 540 millimeters long by 345. Two side panels, 290 millimeters high by 290 millimeters in width. Four front panel braces, 70 mil by 290 mil. Now I'm going to show you what you need to do to put these together. Right, so these side panels and the front braces, they're interlocking. So I'm going to mark them out and show how, show you how I mark them out and then cut them on the bandsaw. So the easiest one to show you first, front brace. So first thing I'll do is lay that flush along that edge. Pinch that down, double check that's correct. And mark off. And there we go, I've marked out my first template. So what I'm gonna do is mark off 150. is a slightly more complicated and I will actually get my square for that pinch that up nice and tight mark off mark off mark off mark off for this one I only want a top and a bottom mark I'm not cutting all the way through yet that one on the inside there and again mark off so again flushed out of the bottom mark off mark off and you're good and the same on the other side So I've finished all my bandsaw cuts. Now what I want to do is chop this out and fit the two together, make sure they fit nice and snug. Right, so there's my two side pieces ready to go. Right, so this is my template. It is dead square but this makes the assembly process much easier. So what I'm doing now is I'm building the frame. So plenty of glue all the way around. I need to make sure I've wedged this. So I tap that in, another piece on the bottom, and clamp that up nice and tight. Four sides, only three sides of glue, and this one will come out once I've glued this. 25 mil pins. that just peels out right so the next stage I'll still need to use the template but the next stage is to build the side panels put the side panels in so this is the great bit about it the interlocking design nice bead of glue down there sense so I'll open up open it up and push it down so I don't scrape the glue off automatically Nice and smooth. And now it's time to build. And back into the jig. Push that down nice and tight, which is beautiful. Right, 
Right, so here we've got the front rail piece, the interlocking piece, and there we go. Perfect. So that's the base unit, base half of the unit. Okay, so that's the base unit and how to assemble it. These are the packers to support the bolts that go through. Uh, the halfway point of this should be the halfway point of the top. Okay, and that's fully laminated, so I'll leave that to let the glue set. Marking three positions, 170. Mark the halfway point, make sure that line's clear. Same on the other side, 163 millimeters. And that's the hole for the bolts to attach the router to. And same again, mark. So what I've got here is a 44 mil hole saw. I'm just gonna drill that through. Next drill hole is 26 mil. So to start the fence, we need two pieces, and that is 70 mil wide, 480 overall length. And then mark at 220, 35 mil down. And then this piece in here, we're gonna take out. Right, and there we go. That's the first part of the fence. Right, so now I'm going to make the hood. So position this in the middle. Put that aside for one minute and I'll cut it later once that glue's dried off a little bit. So while I was waiting for those to dry, I made up some brackets, 140 mil by 32, and that's the clamp, the router in place. Got my saw flush against there. Tidied right up, beautiful. Just take that over to the sander later, and then this whole unit's ready to complete. So now, if one of the finishing stages to do is just run around it, and find out whether there's any rough bits or any splinters. Best way to do that is just run your hands over it a little bit and find out. So I like to put my own little mark on them. There's one. There's two. So there we have it, the finished article router table, ready to go. You can fit any router you like in that. Up to 180 mil base plate. There's room on the side here to fit the NVR switch. You can also adapt this to put your own rise and fall in it. I've done that with other models. So that's it, that's the lowdown of how I build my router tables. Thank you for supporting the channel. Also to those guys who've actually bought one of my router tables, thank you very much also. Have a nice day, stay safe in the workshop, catch you next time.